Hey there guys, some crazy breaking news, YouTube's former CEO Susan Wojcicki has died. This comes as a surprise to me because she unfortunately passed away. She lost her battle with cancer, which is something that I didn't know she had. The reception of her death has set the internet ablaze, with many people being divided, some respectfully paying their respects and others voicing their unhappy opinions about Susan Wojcicki. Matt Pat best described it in a tweet. Matt Pat from Game Theorists made a tweet about Susan Wojcicki and it reads as follows. So sad about the loss of Susan Wojcicki. She had the thankless job trying to steer YouTube through some of its toughest years as advertisers bailed, governments regulated and creators were unhappy about the platform growing up. Were all the decisions perfect? No. But the fact that YouTube still exists today for creators is a testament to her threading an impossible needle. I will say this, it's very important to respect her death. We need to remember that she was a person too. She was a mother, wife, sister and and daughter so she meant something to a lot of people this is really sad because her son tragically passed away fairly recently and now she's gone she left behind her husband and four kids the sad part is that people use her son's death as ammunition against her to try and hurt her which is really not a good thing to do a lot of people made their gripes about her decisions with youtube personal a lot of people made it personal with her and many people attacked her online the thing most people don't know is that susan wojcicki actually did quite a lot for youtube she she had so much to do with Google and YouTube's success that she's one of the reasons the online companies became so successful. YouTubers didn't start making as much money until she came. You know that period of time from 2016 to 2019 of where YouTubers were buying mansions and exotic cars? That was all her. Sure she made a lot of decisions that people didn't like, but remember that a lot of YouTubers broke the rules and had to be disciplined. Besides everything that happened, what is the future of YouTube going to look like now? How much of an influence did Susan Susan Wojcicki actually have. I don't know about how drastic the changes will be or if anything will really change at all. This is something that will have to be seen over time. The thing I am wondering is, if anything changes, I really hope it's for the better of YouTube, YouTubers and content creators in general. I made this video because what happened could affect everyone on the platform. The death of a CEO is not a small thing, especially with how much of an influence she had. Seeing as she had cancer, it only makes sense why she stepped down as CEO because of her health. I really didn't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. It wouldn't be right to mock the death of someone, nor would it be right to mock the death of someone that you don't like. Make of it what you will about her death, but just remember that a lot of good things in YouTube started with her. The impact she had will be remembered. I send my condolences to her family because I am sure that they are really going through the most right now. I would urge people to be respectful to the grieving family. And with that, this is the Chili Man signing off. I thank everyone for watching. Peace out.